People are searching for happiness and it seems like no one is actually achieving that happiness. Perhaps because they are searching in places that happiness is not found and perhaps they don't know how to achieve it and perhaps they are looking at people who don't really have happiness. If I were to ask a young boy or girl what would make you happy, they would usually normally answer with a materialistic answer very material people would say you know what if i had the latest car i would be happy if i had the latest phone i would be happy if i had the a nice home i would be happy meaning a house if i had the latest perfume i'd be happy if i looked good i would be happy if i had the latest clothes i would be happy if i attracted the attention of others i would be happy yet every single one of those will not give you happiness besides that which is very temporary and very very fake subhanallah you can have the latest phone it's not a source of happiness it might make you happy for a moment and thereafter as soon as you hear there is another phone you are unhappy it goes to show that there is something wrong. Maybe your understanding or my understanding of happiness needs to be fine tuned in accordance with what my maker has taught. And definitely, definitely, if you would like happiness, there is no way that you could ignore revelation. There is no way that you could ignore the one who made you and I. For indeed, it is only through the teachings of the one who made you that you will understand why you're in existence. If you take a look, subhanallah, at yourself, you will realize that there was a time when you were not in existence. There was a time when nobody could actually refer to you as he or she or even it because you didn't exist. So you came from somewhere and so did I. Whoever made me has definitely sent a message to me telling me why he made me. And if I were to search revelation, whatever is available on earth today, I would definitely find that the most authentic of all those books is the Quran, without a doubt, without a doubt. People may have a lot to say about what is in the Quran because they don't understand or they don't know the context or they haven't looked into it or perhaps sometimes they are tainted with some form of a lack of understanding. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors. But if you were to look at Allah telling us, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created mankind or jinn kind except that they worship me. People look at that verse and I promise you I've had young people tell me that is so boring. أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ That is so boring. So maybe you haven't understood that verse. It actually refers to leading your entire life within what Allah has ordained. And that will bring about happiness and contentment. Happiness is a choice that you have. You actually would make that choice. You can be happy. People who are unhappy generally look at what they don't have. And people who are happy, look at what Allah has bestowed upon them in order to enjoy it within the limits of Allah. You know, if a person were to commit adultery, for example, may Allah protect all of us. If a person were to try to look for happiness in that which would displease Allah, it might bring about a temporary feeling, a false feeling within oneself of happiness but it's not actually happiness you're sowing a seed of regret of sadness you're sowing a seed of evil that will germinate and grow into a huge wild forest if you're not careful may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
not allow us to become lost in such forests. For indeed, if you were to watch the globe today, some of those who have the most glamorous lives outwardly are some of the most depressed people. They don't have that happiness because they're not content with what Allah has given them. When Allah says, I've created you and jinn kind in order that you worship me, it means in order that you lead a life that is within what I have taught, stay away from the bad and do good. And then Allah says, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, Man amila saliham min dhakarin aw untha wa huwa mu'minun falanuhyiyannahu hayatan tayyiba. Whoever from amongst you, male or female, believes and does good deeds, we guarantee them that they will have a beautiful life. They will be happy. That's what Allah means here because Hayat and Tayyibah cannot be possible. A good life, a beautiful life, a pure life, a nice life is not possible unless you're happy. So to be happy, you need to look at a few factors. Number one, your relationship with Allah, your faith. Do you believe that Allah is your maker? Do you believe you are going to return to him? Do you believe that no matter how much you have on earth, this earth will not give you more than two square meters when you leave it? You could be a billionaire, a millionaire. You could have every latest technology and gadget. But I promise you, when you leave this world, it will only give you two square meters to be buried and thereafter you will be decomposed in there. In most cases, another or a third and a fourth buried on the same spot as time passes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. This is why we say when we came onto earth, we actually came without anything. We didn't even have clothes and when we leave, we will be stripped of that clothing. We will be enshrouded in a respectful way, but we leave with nothing as well. So while we're on earth, make most of the opportunities Allah gives you to gain closeness to him. If you don't have faith, you will never be a happy person. The affairs of a true believer are amazing. Why are they amazing? Because no matter what happens to him or her, it is always good for him and her. It can never be bad. Allah doesn't do something bad, but Allah gives you opportunities to shine. Allah gives you an opportunity to prove yourself. Allah gives you an opportunity to bear sabr, to bear patience. So this hadith continues to say, if hardship befalls the true believer then he or she is patient so it is better for him or her and if goodness comes in the direction of a true believer then he or her is very very grateful to allah it makes him or her closer to allah in terms of worship so that is better for him or her